Hello and welcome to the Astro Flower Aura readings. Um, just to sort of go through uh, basically what we do on these readings. I'm an energy healer. I've been an energy healer for sort of 30 years. I've seen over 20,000 people and I see energy fields around everything. Uh, so, and I've been seeing them for a very long time, so 30 odd years. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been the main course of my study basically throughout my life. Um, so um, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be looking at the effects of what the earth energy, the vibration or the universal vibration if you like, uh, and how it affects each individual sign within your chakras and your aura. And this will give you a heads up on your weekly readings, your monthly readings and etc. I c this is not a personal sort of thing. So um, you can't I can read people's sh chakras and auras at distance, it's not a problem. Um, but this is obviously a general video and this is where we're just going to be going into general um, sort of connections that different signs have because different signs work on different types of energy. Uh, and that's to do with the element system which we can find within the astro flower. So, um, yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the chakras and I'm going to pick out the big, you know, the ones that are affecting you as your sign the most um, and see if there's anything that we can pick up in the aura as well and the uh, just to sort of differentiate the chakras are like the electrical cables of your energy that's going pulsating through your body like it's energy lines or ley lines that pulsate through the vibration of the earth we get the same thing on all the planets as much as we do on the solar system um, the sun as well uh, so that's like the cables, the electrical cables where the current is really going through it. And that electrical cables create a magnetic field, which we would call your aura. Um, uh, we can also say the magnetic field of the Earth and uh, the magnetic field of the Sun and other planets and etc. So there is a difference between the two. Um, and auras are a lot slower than they are than the chakras. Chakras are a lot faster. Um, so it's, it, it, I, I'll be honest with you, I can't see chakras per se. I can see what effect it's having on the magnetic field. A little bit like a boat that goes through water um, and the boat has long gone, but you can see the wake from the boat afterwards. So I see the knock-on effect of the chakras rather than the actual chakras itself. Be interesting to see them in the future, maybe uh, if the vibration of the earth picks up even more, uh, it, things may well be possible in that sort of sense. So it's just a sort of difference between the two. The aura is a lot slower. It's a lot sort of, it takes a lot more to change auras. Chakras change a lot quicker. Um, and this, that is what I would call the, um, uh, the harmonics or the harmony or the vibration of your energy. Um, and uh, you know uh, the uh, or the chakras would be more of a case of like the watts or the um, the energy uh, the the watts or the kilowatts or the volts that are flying through that chakra at any given point. I will say one other thing on on energy uh, before we start. You can never have less than hundred percent of energy. You're never missing it. You've never got too much. It's just the way in which you position your energy or distribute your energy through your body which can give you the sensation that you're missing energy and other times when you have excess amount of energies. So without further ado, let's just bring up our Astro Flower Man. There we go. Lovely. Okay, and we're just going to get into those readings. Pisces, let's get on to your chakras and your aura reading thank you very much for being here i really do appreciate it let's just see what's going on here for you there's there's quite a lot going on here for you actually there's a thing that sort of there's um at the moment, we're going through all these retrogrades, as I've said. Um, all, all planets seem to be in retrograde at the moment, apart from Mars. Um, 
and it is a moment of pause, a moment of reflection and stuff like that. And you're not very keen in those moments, really. You do a lot of them, but you like to be active. You like to be engaged and stuff like that. And this pause around you is causing a bit of doubt between your confidence and your determination and what you want to do in life and um, the, um, the, the, the heart's desires of how you want life. Um, and you've got to be a little bit careful of that. You know, there is a moment here at this present time where you need to take a bit of pressure off yourself, I think. Um, and don't, um, don't sort of put yourself under too much pressure because that is where you're going to divide your determination and your heart's desires. And if there's too much divide between them, the two will never meet. And you need this determination in order to gain your heart's desires. So the two need to be interconnected and there seems to be a disconnect between the two within your aura at the moment. Let's just have a look and see what's going on in your chakras. Uh, let's start with your root chakra. Uh, there could be a huge amount of desire to move, to do something new, to do something different, to get out of the rut, to, you know, your root chakra is not very um, active at the moment. Um, so uh, there could be movement, you could be moving house, moving job, moving relationships. Uh, you're putting, you know, your, your, it's almost like uprooting a lot of things at the moment. Uh, that's what it seems to be like. And that could also be contributing to that sort of doubt that's going through your, through your aura and your, uh, through your other chakras and stuff like that. So I would, you need to be cert grounded to a certain degree, you know, you're, you're, you're a fish, you're two fish in fact, and they're swimming in opposite directions. And this creates that contradiction within yourself, um, which is what we can see here between the heart and the, um, or in the aura certainly, within a bit of waviness that's coming into it, a bit of undefinition uh, within that. And I think this is a bit of an anticipation and trepidation about the future. Um, because you're being a little bit uprooted at the moment uh, within your life, so uh, it's very important as well to have certain aspects of our life that is grounded and that can be through your pleasures such as sort of painting, uh, creating jewellery, singing, dancing, um, whatever it is that really floats your boat, make sure you do a little bit of that because it will help you to be grounded within who you are. Let's just see what's going on in your sacrum. You seem to be much more concentrated on your work than on your play uh, in life. Um, and that's where the doubt could come in because we're living in a world at the moment that's changing. And changing in a financial aspect, changing in a political, and all of those sort of things that are going on around it. So it's a little bit less secure that we can't really count upon. And um, so you're fundamental desires now is to get things to be working um, within your life and this is where you could build a little bit too much pressure on yourself so be just a bit attentive to that and this is what I'm talking about getting that work play ethic back into line getting that grounding sort of thing back into line I think that does need to be sort of like nurtured a little bit being a little bit gentle with yourself as well um, not so harsh and hard with your um, expectations basically uh, for the future because uh, it, it's a good thing it can play well it's a very sharp uh, edged sword uh, so it can cut through the crap and cut through the mist uh, which is a good thing but at the same time you don't want to sort of cut your fingers on it either so you know there's just a little bit of a caveat sort of like warning that comes along with it okay let's just see what goes along with your solar plexus It's actually really nice your solar plexus it's not as extended as it should be but it's a lot wider so you are doing a lot of different things and you're putting your fiery energy your determination your confidence into a lot of different things at the moment um, but it's also well defined it's not um, it's not too frilly it's not too um, too open it's not um it's not it's not got that descending factor on the petals so like it's normally in the 45 degrees and your petals can sort of like wane as it were but you're not getting that factor there there is a bit of light heartedness that you would like in your life but it's 
difficult to do that within your to be determined as well as being light-hearted it's very difficult to get that balance and i think you're playing with that at the moment basically within your general life um let's just see what's going on with your heart chakra okay there's a lot of you might i'm there's a lot of heart's desires on here so there's fundamental desires which is i am hungry uh, that's a fundamental desire and then uh, basically I would say I I want to eat a cheese uh, feta cheese and tomato salad you know that's my heart's desires and you seem to want I want a feta cheese tomato peppers uh, I'd like a you know a bit of hummus you know there's there seems to be lots of things that are playing through your heart at the moment and that could be dividing you between one thing and another um and it could be almost contradictory so you know you want a home life but you want to be out socializing you know that sort of thing and there's 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 quite a few sort of points of reference with on your heart chakra that is i've got you've got several desires within your personal life and several desires within your financial life and you're treating you know as long as you keep them very separate i think it would work really well so when you're working work when you're not working and with your with you you're in your relationships be within your relationships when you're within your home life and your pleasures and you're enjoying life be within that you know when you're being within the education understanding and exploring of what life is all about be there it's a very queen of wands um, scenario going on here in your heart being present in the moment i think is really important for you when you do that that's when you're going to be able to marry that determination that you've got and very good determination that you've got. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> I just want to... <coughs> I just wanted to fly. <laughs> you silly thing, what are you doing in there? Get out! Gee whiz. He had a very distinct perfume on it. Very distinct perfume. Interesting. Oh, a bit, bit of protein for me, I guess. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, you have a lot of things of defining, um, putting things. Uh, Queen of Hearts, being uh, Queen of Hearts, being Queen of Wands, um, being very in the moment, basically. Um, I think that's going to be really good for you. Um, okay, let's just see what's going on on the third eye and throat chakra. There is a lot of thinking as well at the same time. Don't overthink things. Don't. This is where you can build the pressure up on you because sometimes you can, you can turn things in so many different senses that uh, you end up working against yourself rather than for yourself. So I would just be very wary of that. Um, therefore, I would encourage sort of vocal activities, so like singing, um, sort of chanting, um, sort of within your meditation, sort of like. Um, mantras and stuff like that i think would be really interesting also breathing exercises i think will really help you out enormously um just to bring a little bit of calm and clarity to your your inner visions because they're good their visions uh, they are there's a lot of them they seem to be very poignant and very sort of active but you need to give them a sort of definition and shape and i think you can do that through your throat chakra and activities in that sort of sense let's just have a look what's going on in your crown chakra Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's like there's um, you're on the cusp of a new consciousness that you're going to be living, and it's ready to sort of. It's almost like a, it's like um, it's like a cake that's building up, and it's it's just at the moment where it's rising and rising and rising, and then you know sometimes the surface of the cake it cracks and allows that odors and that smells and the beautiful things that are inside the cake that come out to the surface. And I think that's what's happening for you here. And I think this what could well be causing that doubt or trepidation between your convictions of what you want and your heart's desires of what you want. And it's, it's, it's just before it happens, it's like um, stage fright. You know, it's, um, you know, just before, you, you know, someone goes on, to, you know, like an actor goes on to the stage, they get stage fright or they get, you know, priest pre-show nerves and stuff like that 
it's very much that sort of thing. It's almost as sort of saying, I can feel this consciousness coming through, but how is it going to pan out? And that's where your mind can play against you and create those doubts. But it could also give you the clarity of vision. So when it does kick in, you'll be rocking and rolling really beautifully. So just be gentle with yourself more than anything else this at this moment in time um, and with your energies. And concentrate on your breathing exercises or your singing or your mantras and your chanting and stuff like that. That'd be really good. Uh, I think that'd help you and give you a good balance between your work and play ethic, basically. Okay, let's just see if we can get anything else out of the aura. This is my new, but I think it's worth saying. Um, it's very small, but I think it's worth saying. Uh, there is a certain aspect of being highly influenced by the outside world. Just be wary of that. Don't let allow people or situations to take you off your path. Uh, stay true to your inner vision. Stay true to your heart and your heart's desires. Uh, but don't allow you to get sucked into one thing, basically. Um, and don't allow you to be too influenced from the outside world because it will just sow doubt within your life. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Um, don't forget about the energy update over on Cymatic TV, my sister channel. I will also be doing um, videos on uh, manifestation and the law of attraction because sometimes we put a lot of positivity out in the world and we get nothing but negative back why is that you know what i mean so uh, we're going to be going into those sort of things on cymatic tv make sure you get over there and subscribe um and click that bell so you're going to get the notification it's all about energy at the cymatic tv all about energy um yes thank you very much for being here don't forget you've got your weekly readings coming out this weekend as well i hope you got the best out of these readings i really do hope it helped you um in the meantime all that's left for me to say is uh, don't forget Life should be fun, so please do end.